Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make two videos on this because that one got a little long. <sighs> Jake Mace does his traditional martial arts that I'm... Mm, I don't know. It's, well, it's not probably the original basis of what they were, but what they had turned into to be utilized for the way things got taught. In other words, not very successful. There, Cleve is back. Any rate, I'm just stating that it is better. Yeah, the ball is like it's a better way to kick. Than the fucking shin. I'm sorry, but it clearly is. I mean, if, yeah, I'm a Muay Thai fucking fighter can do that because they do that since birth. They go around kicking baby little fucking, uh, rubber trees. No, they're not like in the movie Kickboxer where Van Damme kicked the big ass one because you'd be like, he wasn't that baby on the ground fucking in pain. But you're not going to heal up in time to come do the fight. You would be fucked. You kick a grown ass rubber tree plant, usually kicking the baby ones for a little bit and shit like that. And doing the weird things where they're like hitting themselves on the legs and shit, you know. Tap, tap, tap bullshit. But I'm not doing that because well, I haven't been doing that forever. So. And I don't know how smart of a conditioning plan that is, but whatever. Interesting. Cool, but you know. The average person, you're better off with kicking with your heel. Are the ball of your foot? He was right on the ball of your foot thing. Are the exercises like? Because I have always heard this from my teachers and shit that no, they had nothing to do with you. Because again, you could get you shit in a kipo, you could do where you stand like you sit like that on a chair so you can get your get the balls of your feet to round up more for a little while, maybe more like that. Yeah, so that gets that working. Those are my boobs today. They did not look good on screen. Oh, well. Anyway. So, that part makes sense. Yeah, I'm wearing the action bra. I hate but uh, I had to wear it to get on with other things. Yes, they had other things as doing martial arts. Like this. I guess I got a decent enough crease there. At any rate. You're not going to, uh, you know, have... Anyway, you're not going to condition your feet like that. No, again, you've already conditioned the balls of your feet and the heels, because you do it every day. When you walk, see? We're walking, we're walking, look. I'm conditioning my feet. Every ounce of weight on my body is going onto my feet. See how that works there? And if I were wearing heels, I could be in the balls of my feet even better. There, that's conditioning versus the other thing where you have to do specific conditioning. And as much as I love a good roundhouse kick, I'm just saying, that's not a bad idea, though it's better to come up with the ball of your feet or get like, you know, like that, what is it called? Inward crescent kick. Shit like that. Does that make some sense? And yeah, you bred better off with that. Or the forward side kick. Close the camera. All right, coming around now. Hook ish kick. On the side by that. But again, that's where the ball of the feet would work, and the best bet would be to hit with. A good old heel or that Wing Chun ish kick into a oblique kick thing. <sighs> yeah, I farted, whatever. Because again, you can see on the video when I broke one of these. Yes, it took me a thousand kicks, but oh well, I did it, which is like. 
Holy shit, five inches in diameter. Huh. Yeah, they're getting five inches right there. So yeah, no, no more that's it. And that's it, that's all the way around, but <laughs> I might get about something. Get some commentary. But anyway. Versus this. That's a little over three inches. And even at the more thicker parts. Still doesn't quite reach the whole, yeah. Very worried about getting there, okay. It's not like you broke it here at the thick end. Shut up. Which, yeah, that would be impressive, but that's not what he did. And that guy is a trained uh, Thai boxer who's been con probably conditioning his fucking legs since birth. For the average Joe and Jane, you're better off kicking with your heels or the balls of your foot. So Jake Mace was right about kicking with the ball of your foot. Probably not the best from a roundhouse kick, but it'll go in a pinch. He did misunderstand why people's feet are... He probably saw a time match and didn't realize that somebody had moved wrong. Because you're trying to kick again. Yes, yes, you're trying to kick with the fucking... Fuck my life. Anyway. Shit, however, you only do that if you were a trained type. And yeah, you've seen what happened to MMA players when they do that shit. And someone catches it right. And their leg breaks in half. Imagine you're doing a roundhouse kick to a motherfucker on the street and you do that shit. You're fucked. He can basically have his day with you because you are a one-legged man in an ass-kicking contest or woman. Yeah, you are a one-legged person in an ass-kicking contest at that point. And you still have to come up and down to do something. Even with that bizarre ass kick. Oh, and down at that weird angle. Whereas here I can just go bump. Simple enough. Roundhouse kick. So it's either the ball on foot or the heel. No, the heel's a better choice. Jake hadn't quite figured that one out. But the ball of your foot is a better choice to hit someone with than that. And no, I'm not saying I'm better than that Thai guy because now I ain't gonna fucking lie to myself like that. I don't have any professional fights. I have decades of training. And I broke the thicker piece of hickory. And he broke a piece of ash. And, and no, this wasn't the person making the original video. That was someone else entirely. But they used him as an example. So I'm going, okay. Well, I'm going to use myself as an example to prove that. Well, hold up. Buttercup. There's another thing that could kind of work better. And I just broke down the center line. Yes, it took me a thousand fucking kicks. Oh well. I did it. And then I got only did it with two. I don't know, maybe I'll get a baseball bat. So, yeah, I broke shovels. I broke rakes and shit. And the shovel's thicker. So a legit hickory fucking stick. Versus an ash baseball bat that he broke at the thin part. Only one. But yeah, he's trying to protect. And he like runs across things. But yeah, it took him less kicks. But still, I'm just saying, if you're going to do a kick, you're better off using your heel or the ball of your foot. Even with a roundhouse kick. Though for a roundhouse kick, I would say the heel. Unless you're trying to hit somebody in the head and you need the extra reach. No, don't step on your tippy. Don't step on your the heel on the back of your foot. Kick with that heel. You have better balance, okay. So, there, toodles.